This video is going to talk to you about how to use your existing Yahoo Mail account to access your uh, domain name mail using the POP3 access and then you can respond back and any mail you receive then looks like it came from your domain mail. Uh, this is kind of handy if you're already using Yahoo and it's your preferred mail client. So the first thing you do is you log into Yahoo like you normally do using your current username and password. You sign in and uh, you uh, then go over here to, this is Mail Classic, uh, you go over here to Options, Mail Options, and you want to click on under Management Mail Addresses. This is the first, thir first phase of making this happen. Under Mail Accounts, if you've never done this, you just may have one here called Yahoo Mail but I'm going to add a new one and this is what you need to do is you need to add a new one this is your account name you can call it whatever you want business your business name your first name I usually give it the name of uh, of the mailbox I'm uh, creating so I'm gonna call this one Kevin because uh, the mailbox I'm going after here is Kevin at affordable website specialist dot com so I'm just gonna call it Kevin but it, it, you can call it whatever you want Okay, this is the name that will f appear in the from uh, line of the mail you're sending to people. So I'm going to say Kevin uh, Vandette. You could you could have your company name here uh, as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the email address I have assigned to you. So in this case, it's going to be Kevin at Affordable Website Specialist. Dot com. Make sure I got that right. Looks like I did. Okay. In the, in your case, it would be your mailbox at your domain dot com. The mail server is going to be the word mail m a i l dot and then your domain name dot com. So in my case, it's affordable website specialist dot com. Check that. Looks like it's right. Okay. Username I assigned you. So in my case, it's going to be Kevin at Affordable Website Specialist.com. All right. But in your case, it would be your mailbox at your domain name.com. And then this is the password I sent you. Okay, leave these as, as, as stated. Then click on Setup Mail Server. It says your account settings have been saved. What do I need to do? You need to confirm that the email address I provided, Kevin, at AffordableWebsiteSpecialist.com is valid. Uh, now, in your case, it would be your mailbox at your domain name.com. So I'm going to click on Send a Verification. That's going to send an email to this new address. We're going to have to go to that new, new address and validate that we got the mail. So I'm going to say send verification. All right, so it has now sent a, a test message to this uh, new mailbox. We have to go out to that mailbox and get the confirmation code. So what I'm going to do is the way you access domain mail without going through a mail client is you basically open up a new browser here and you type in mail.domainname.com. So in my case, it's mail.affordablewebsitespecialist.com. It will bring up a hosting utilities page. Now, you want to go to this webmail here, but a, a little sidebar here. If you want to change the password I gave you, you can do it here. And, and, and give yourself a new password. But anyhow, let's let's click into IMP here. Now you type in your username, which is Kevin at affordable website specialist.com and your password. Now in your case it's your mailbox at your domain name dot com and then the password I gave you. This should log me into that brand new mail account. You see, I've never logged into it, but I have one mail message in there. Hopefully, it's the one from Yahoo. 
and you can see that it is it's from Yahoo and they're basically saying to verify that this new mailbox is valid sign in and click on the link blah 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 so if I click on this link here it should take me back I, ha I now have to sign in um, using my old Yahoo account okay you see how it filled in the confirmation code automatically for me so I'm gonna click verify account it's asking me for my my old Yahoo password one more time I'm gonna sign in and it's saying that I can now send mail from this using the from button on the pull down on the compose page so I now if I check th this is the new mailbox I just created you can see I could make this my default if I wanted but I'll leave it uh, as is and keep the Yahoo mail as my default but basically it's showing that this is my name this is my mailbox and this is the uh, server I'm getting the mail from and this is the username so if I want to go out and check mail now let's just uh, uh, it downloaded one message. I'll go to my inbox and open up my inbox. It should be a message right here. Yeah, it, it's just basically saying that I confirmed uh, everything. Okay, that's the confirmation. So that that's kind of cool. Now when you go to compose a, uh, a mail message using Yahoo, you can see that uh, you can send it to just like you normally do fill in your message and you can see now that it's coming from uh, Kevin my old Yahoo account but now I can scroll down and uh, uh, make it come from whoever I want here I have several accounts in here this is the one I just created for the exercise so I can basically use Yahoo to say to, to, to answer my mail but but tell it it's coming from this uh, address okay so uh, hopefully this tu tutorial was valuable for you. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a shout. Thanks. Have a great day.